They understand if we quit working, then we will quit winning. So that's really important to us. It's been a fantastic summer. And uh, we're excited about moving into the next phase of the season, which will start fall camp Monday. And we're officially a month out from our first game. Um, <clears throat> we've made the transition from double A AA to triple A this year. We're going to be playing some teams that traditionally we haven't played in the past. And so we're excited about that. We're excited about the opportunity to try to repeat as state champions. Our team has set two goals this year. We want to be the first team in school history to win back-to-back -back state champs. Um, that's never been done. And then our other goal is we want to be the first AAA state champions in the history of the school. So we've got a lot to play for. Our kids have got a lot to prove. They're motivated. Uh, it's just really working hard. We've got a really good senior class. This is four of my guys right here, Luke Tarver, who was uh, all, uh, all state running back last year, over 1,000 yards rushing. Um, Jacob Norgard as well was an all state player with over 1,000 yards rushing. TJ Daniel played outside linebacker for us and he played some tailback as well. Uh, coming into his second year of our program um, and uh, just had a phenomenal year and we're excited about what he's got to offer his senior year in Aiden Anglin. He's been a part of our program for a long time. Uh, really good defensive back for us. Uh, had two huge interceptions in the upset of number one Glenwood last year in week 10. So uh, these are four guys that represent our program the right way. They understand what it takes to be successful. And uh, I'm just really proud of, of this senior class and where they've led our team so far. Now in your program, I, it shows that we're open 823 and that is no longer the case. We'll be traveling to Starkville, Mississippi on the 23rd of August and play Starkville Academy, which is a uh, large private school in Starkville, Mississippi. They traditionally uh, got a really good football program. I think they were 4A Mississippi State champions about three or four years ago. So this is gonna be a tremendous challenge for us. Uh, been talking to those guys since the spring and really wasn't sure, uh, kind of waffling back and forth on whether we want to do that, but it's gonna be a home and home series. So they'll return the trip next fall in 2025. Uh, just, uh, I really wasn't sure. I, I, I didn't figure out I wanted to do that until this summer. I was watching one of my favorite movies, Lonesome Gov. And uh, if you remember the part, Gus was riding, they were getting close to Montana territory, and Gus was riding his horse. He said, there's nothing finer than riding a good horse in the new land. So I said, well, that, that made my decision for me. I think we got a good horse, and we want to try something new. So uh, take it for what you want. That's, uh, that wasn't really the way, reason we made the decision. The biggest reason was we wanted something for our team to be motivated for all summer, to work hard. And I think we've kind of, we've, our kids have kind of played this as this kind of an Alabama versus Mississippi thing. We're playing for state pride. So uh, we're really excited about that. And then we'll go into the season at Fort Bell Academy, which we haven't played in a long time at Chambers Academy. Uh, Valiant Cross out of Montgomery, which is uh, another 3A team. Um, Edgewood, uh, who we are very familiar with. And then Bessemer Academy, Morgan Academy. I don't think we've played Morgan Academy since the early 90s, and so on. So uh, there's some new opponents on there, and we're excited about it and what that challenge leads for our team. So um, at this time, if you have any questions for us, uh, me or the guys, we would, we would love to field them. Coach, I'll get you started right here. Um, for you and your staff coming off a championship season, is there a, a different mentality in the off season for players to, I don't want to say that they're not motivated, but is there a different mentality coming off the, the top of the mountain for the new season and kind of getting, all, getting past that and being focused for the new season ahead? Yeah, I, I think it's, the hardest thing in anything is to stay on top. You know, our kids were extremely motivated last year to uh, return to the state championship game. We had missed it for two years prior, and they were they were very motivated to get back there and win it. And 
our, uh, our motto last year was leave a legacy. We wanted to leave a legacy as a championship team. And so that's the hardest thing to do is how do we motivate our kids to want to do this again. And as I talk, their motivation is we want to be the first time to repeat as state champions. Uh, and they want to be the first 3A state champions. So our motto this year has now trans has transformed from leave a legacy to now we want to build a dynasty. And so uh, that, that's the goal. Hey coach, uh, McKenzie Collins with, with uh, WTVM. Last season you had multiple games over 50 points. Do you expect to keep the high scoring this season in a different region? Um, well, that's the plan. We'd like to score 50 every time we could. Um, but, um, you know, um, we, we had some really good players on offense last year. We've lost a couple of them, but we got a big chunk of them back. And uh, these two guys right here who had phenomenal seasons on the ground. And so, uh, yeah, that's, that's always the goal every year. And so hopefully we'll be able to score a lot of points. But I'm going to tell you the biggest difference for our team last year was we played championship defense. And so um, I feel like that defensively is going to be a strength of our team again this season. And I think if you want to build, if you want to build a championship program, you got to play championship defense in order to be to obtain that. Morning, Coach Jack Patterson with WRBO out of Columbus. You talked about the move from 2A to 3A this season. You're playing teams that you haven't played, but you guys have all, always played a tough schedule. I look back to you guys playing both Lee Scott and Glenwood last year. You lost to Lee Scott by one possession, beat Glenwood. How do games like that prepare your team as you get ready to take, tackle on this new classification? Yeah, well, I mean, anytime you play good people, I think it makes you better. And, and as I mentioned, that's, that's the biggest reason that we uh, schedule this game. We start from Mississippi to try to, to fill that void that we're going to lose with Lee Scott and Glenwood. Uh, we hate we're going to lose that relationship, but they did some, made some decisions that was best for them. And so, uh, yeah, we want to play good people, Jack. And so uh, I think you find out who you are. You don't always find out who you are when you win in by four or five or, or six touchdowns. Hey, Coach Kevin Eckerberry. Uh, I know you spent, don't spend any time looking back, really, but to see this group, it comes so close, break through and win it last year, just tell me how special that was for you. Yeah, well, it, it's just special to watch young men develop and mature throughout life, and that team did what we want our team to do every year. They got a little better every single week, and that was the goal. Uh, we started out with a really good Lee Scott team, and we were struggling to figure out who we were. And we kind of played a lot of guys at quarterback and did some different things philosophically. Uh, but once our team settled in on who we were and we found our identity and we found what we're good at, I think it's important in life to find something you're good at and build around it. And our team found something we were good at and we built around it. And we just got better every week, and, and that team will go down in the history of Chambers Academy football as one of the better teams to ever, to ever uh, put it on in Chambers Academy. We appreciate that, Coach. If we can get you guys to come up, if y'all will just introduce yourself and then give goals or thoughts for the upcoming season and then remain standing, we'll have a couple questions for you. Uh, I'm Luke Tarver, and I'm the running back for Chambers. Our goals this year are everybody always has the same goal. We, uh, we always want to win a state championship, and that's the mindset we all have. And uh, everybody understands that. Uh, my name is Jacob Norgard. I'm also another back. Um, a goal, basically what Luke said too, uh, everybody's goal should be winning a state championship. So. Uh, my name is TJ Daniel. Um, I play outside linebacker and running back. Uh, as my teammate said, uh, we're just trying to win state again. And Coach Allen said, try to win 3A, be the first to go back to bat and everything. So, yeah, we're just going to keep working at it. My name is Aiden Hayes. I'm a Aiden Anklin. I play defensive back. Like TJ said, we're trying to go be the first team in school history to be the 
two A state cha three A state championships. Sorry about that. And have two back to back. First questions for any player that wants to take it. You're you're all seniors, so you're coming to your senior year after a championship season. Give us the player perspective on the work that's been put in and your mentality of, as each of you just said, trying to get that back to back in your senior year this year. Um, all the seniors understand that this is our last year, and we um, we want to take it all, take it in, and. Um, not let anything go for granted. So we just understand we don't get this opportunity again, so we want to make the best of it. Uh, fellas, this is for anybody on the stage who wants to take it, but Coach Allen talked about leaving a legacy and now starting to build a dynasty. Chambers has always been known for good football. What does it mean for you to be a part of this legacy and the beginning of a potential dynasty? Well, you know, coming in as a transfer, um, I didn't really think I was going to play a lot, but Coach Allen always believed in me and the team. So as we was all going at it, you know, during the summer we all battled all the time. So then we build our team and everything like Coach Allen said. So we just doing the same thing over and over. My question is also for anyone who wants to answer. Um, what have you seen since the freshman year that has stayed the same or any developments that you've seen um, over the years? I think over the years we've developed more as a team, got more together, and that's what helped us a lot last year on defense. We continue to talk every game and continue to make us better every year. Uh, this question is for Jason, but uh, any of the players. Um, Jason, when you started today, Chambers County as a school has grown by leaps and bounds. I think that's a fair point. Um, what is it about the culture of Chambers Academy? And by the way, if you haven't been to the Fed to watch the Rebels play, you're really missing out. But Jason, uh, the, the school has grown by leaps and bounds, like I just said. What does that mean when you step out on the field? Well, it means a lot to me, Gator. Uh, since 2013, when I, when I came uh, back to Chambers from Glenwood, since uh, the last 12 years, our school has grown not 100%, but 200% in uh, student population. Um, and I'm an alumni of Chambers Academy, first and foremost, so, and I'm a Lafette native for my entire 50 years of my life, so the pride that comes with having a hometown school, it means a lot to its people. A program that they're proud of is really just uh, something that, a sense of fulfillment that as a, as a Lafette native, a Chambers Academy alumni that, that uh, just makes, gives me a lot of pride. And uh, Laf Chambers Academy hasn't always been a football power now. Um, we didn't win our first state championship until 2018, uh, which was uh, nearly 50 years into existence. Uh, but God's really blessed our school. And I think what we're trying to do at Chambers Academy is we want to keep the small town feel. Uh, we had a fame, We had a, a line that we went by several years ago. It was called Small Town Famous. And uh, we want to make all of our kids, our families, and our players understand that they're important, you know, and uh, 